<laughs> Hallelujah. You know, the most important thing in the world for me, the older I get, the more I think about being saved. Thanks you. I just read in 2 Peter 1.10. That scripture's meant something to me for several years now. 2 Peter 1.10. Anybody know what it says? No. Be sure to make your calling and election sure. For if you do these things, you'll never stumble. Praise God. Well, I got several scriptures. I want to just talk about God, the Godhead. It kind of hit me this Last week, uh, so many people believe and teach the Trinity, and uh, I just believe there's one God, and they're gonna read scriptures uh, for that. Uh, Romans 3.30, praise the Lord. Somebody have it, read it. it is one God which shall justify the circumcision by faith and uncircumcision through faith. Read that again. See, it is one God which shall justify the circumcision by faith and uncircumcision through faith. One God justifies us. Yes. Okay, Romans 11, 3 and 4, or 34. Praise God. Romans 11. 44? 34? Uh, chapter 11. 34? Uh, yes. Okay. For who hath known the mind of the Lord? Or who hath been his counselor? Is that what you wanted? No. Okay. <laughs> uh, read, read 3 and 4. Let's okay, see. 3 and 4. Maybe that's it. Lord, they have killed thy prophets and digged down thine altars, and I am left alone, and they seek my life. But what saith the answer of God unto him? I have reserved to myself 7,000 men who have not bowed the knee to the image of Baal. Maybe that's not it. Praise God. What I, I thought I had it written down right. Uh, I got 11, Romans 11, 34. And it sure says that God's ways are past finding out. Yeah. Look there again. Oh, it's 33. Oh, the depth and riches, both of the wisdom and knowledge of God. How unsearchable are his judgments and his ways past finding out. How unsearchable are his judgments yes. and his ways, God's ways are past finding out. You can't find them out. But if you live a righteous life before him, you know what he'll do? He'll make known your ways to him. That's what the Bible says. He made known, God made known his ways to Moses, to the children of Israel. He did, they didn't know it. He was displeased with them because they didn't know his ways. They didn't follow him to know his ways. So uh, they saw his acts. That's what the Bible says. The children of Israel saw God's actions, saw him do things, but they didn't know his ways. And Moses wouldn't have either, except the Lord showed him his ways. Yeah. I, I love that. Praise God. I want the Lord to do that for me. I really do. Yeah. I want to know his ways better and more than I've ever known. I do. I, I just sometimes wonder, Lord, is old George walking close enough to you that you can show him things? Praise God. Okay. First uh, Timothy two five. <laughs> you love this. Praise God. For there is one God and one mediator between God and man, the man Christ Jesus. Amen. One God, one mediator. What's a mediator? The intercessor. Yeah, I'll go between or an intercessor. So read that again, First Timothy two five. For there is one God, one God and one mediator, one mediator between God and man, the man Christ Jesus. Hallelujah! <laughs> you know the Bible says in John chapter one, in the beginning was the Word, 
And the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Yes. The Word was God. John 4 and 24, Jesus said God is the Spirit. Yeah. So, you know, he's, he's, God is Word, and He's Spirit. And He has an image. I, I thought last week, if he's going to teach the Trinity, that, that'd be the way to teach it. That he's, he's, he is word, he is spirit, and he has an image. Yes. Praise God. You know, uh, the, the Trinitarian people that baptize in the titles, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, I'm glad I've been baptized in Jesus' name. Praise God. God sent Peter to the Gentiles to get a people for his name, to get a people for his name. Hallelujah. And Paul met believers in the 19th chapter of Acts, and he said, have you really received the Holy Ghost since you believe? They were believers, but when Paul asked him if they'd received the Holy Ghost, they didn't. They said, we don't even know anything about it. We haven't heard about it. How was he baptized then? Well, John baptized us. We baptized John the Baptist. Repent. Well, Paul said to him, but John the Baptist preached that there was one coming after him that was greater than him. Right. So when they listened to that, heard Paul say that, they got baptized in Jesus' name. Yes. And God filled them with the Holy Ghost, speaking in tongues. I thank God for the ability to pray in tongues. I was telling Josh a while ago, the Bible says if you pray in tongues, you're not talking to men. Yeah. You're talking to God. Right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. One God, one mediator. Is that man Christ Jesus? He's both. He's the mediator. <laughs> But the deity within him is God. The only God there is. Praise the Lord. I'll go ahead and jump down. Genesis. Chap chapter 1 of Genesis. Back there in the beginning. Praise the Lord. Chapter 1. 23. Uh, no, wait a minute. Uh. 26 and 27. Can't read my own right. <laughs> and God said, let us make man in our image after our likeness and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the air and over the cattle and over all the earth and over every living thing that creepeth upon the earth. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God created he him. Male and female created he them. You notice? I want to turn to Genesis there. Praise God. There's some plural language there. Yeah. Praise God. Um, <laughs> this hit me this week. Now, it may sound silly to you, but... Um, to me, it meant something. Uh, I can't read that. Oh, yeah, here is, I, I see part of it. 26. God said, God's talking. Let us, plural, us, make man in our, oh, there's another plural, our, let us make man in our image according to our likeness and let them have dominion over the sea, over everything. And verse 27 says, God created man in his. Oh, that's not plural. No. That's singular. God said, let us make man in our image. Then said, God created man in his own image. In the image of God, he created him. So we bear the image of God. Adam did. Praise God. That's why I said, the Bible says, 
in John 4 and 24, God is the Spirit. And John 1, God is the Word. And we read here that he has an image. But what hit me this last week, and it may be sound silly to you, but to me it meant something. I thought, God said he, he, he created man in his own image. But God said, let us make man in our image. I thought, why doesn't it say if there is a trinity of persons in the Godhead? I just believe in one God. One mediator between God and man. Praise God. I was taught the trinity. But uh, I wouldn't, I, you know, I, I come to the conclusion that I was really believing in three gods. I said, George, you shouldn't be doing that. You should just be worshiping Jesus, one God. Amen. Praise the Lord. So anyway, this last week, I thought, why, does he, why didn't God say, let us make men? Plural. Why didn't he say, let us make men in our image? If there's three persons in the Godhead, then he would have made three mans to be, three men to be, molded after the image of God. It doesn't say God made, God made men. He said he made a man. He made man. One man. We all come from Adam. <laughs> Praise the Lord. To me that means something. Praise God. That, I don't know. It just did something to me. God didn't say let us make men. He said, let us make a man. Praise God. Well, let's see. First John 2, 23 says, Whosoever denieth the Son, the same hath not the Father. <laughs> but he that acknowledges the Son hath the Father also. Amen. Amen. If you've got Jesus in your heart, you've got God the Father in your heart. Amen. A portion of God the Father. You can't see him. God's a spirit. You can't see him. But you can feel him. I, I, I like to see. It's like electricity. S static electricity. You know what static means? You, it's, you don't even know it's there. Somebody give me a definition of the word static. Uh, <laughs> electricity is all around you. It's all around you, and it? It's over in China and everywhere. But you, you can't feel it until you stick your finger in this receptacle, and then, then you'll feel it. That's the way God is. He's all around us, all around us. He, he's, Psalms, I think it's 139, uh, tells you a little bit about where God is. If you go to heaven, he's there. If you go to hell, he's there. If you go to the skies, he's there. Wherever you go, he's already there because he's omnipresent, meaning omnipresent, meaning that he is everywhere at the same time. That's why, man, pretty big God. You can't. How would you see a God like that? But you can see his image. Hallelujah. I love Colossians 1.19. Well, Colossians 2, 9. You know what that says? In him, in Christ, dwelleth all the fullness of the Godhead bodily. He doesn't have to be three people to do that. It's all in Christ. And you know why it is? Because Colossians 1, 19 says, It pleased the Father that in him should all fullness dwell. Woo! <laughs> First Adam had dominion and he lost it. He sold it out to the devil. He sold it out to the stink. But uh, the second Adam bought it back for praise us. Hallelujah to God. Jesus. Well, praise the name of Jesus. Uh, did we read Galatians 3.20? Uh, no, I don't think so. Let's read that. Galatians 3.20. Hallelujah, okay. Jesus. Now, a mediator is not a mediator of one. But God is one. See, see how that close that resembles First Timothy uh, yeah. 
two, five, which tell me one God, one mediator, and here we have read Galatians three twenty again. Now a mediator is not a mediator of one, but God is one. Praise God. Those two verses tell some tell me something. Praise God. Uh, James two fourteen. 19, brother. James 2, 19. James 2, 19. Hallelujah. This will tell you something. Thou believest that there is one God, thou doest well. The devils also believe in trouble. <laughs> See that? We're not the only ones that believe in one God. The devil believes in one God, and he trembles. Yep. <laughs> brother Barnes said, said something like this, and... If you, if you feel like the devil's bugging you, say, uh, hear this name, O oh devil, Jesus, and now I tremble. <laughs> Praise God. Hallelujah. Hebrews, oh, I can't read my writing. Hebrews chapter 1, verses 3 and 4. Yeah. Who being in the brightness of his glory and the express image of his person and upholding all things by the word of his power, when he had by himself purged our sins, sat down on the right hand of majesty on high, being made so much better than the angels as he hath by inheritance obtained a more excellent name than they. Read it again. Who being in the brightness of his glory and the express image of his Whoa, person. Whoa, right there. Jesus, the Bible says Jesus is the exact image of God. That's why I say God is word, God is spirit, and God has an image. <laughs> Hallelujah. To me, that's saying that he is the express image. Express is a way of showing something. Uh, Amen. Amen. Uh, to make known what God is, his character, his express yeah. image. If you want to know what God looks like, picture in your mind the Lord Jesus Christ. And express himself through his son and the brightness and the glory of God is kind of like this light right here. <clears throat> but we can't wrap our mind around what image would mean until he gives us his son and see, like my hand would be his son, and we have God here. And then when he shines on his son, the image on the wall there would be man made in the likeness of God. Right. And so he who denies the son has not the father. Of course, God's always Amen. Saying, whether we deny him or not. Right. But that would be what an image would be, the shadow of God, you know. Praise the name of God. That's and his character becomes Jesus. flesh. He expresses himself through his son. Right. Hallelujah. And bring it down. Praise God. Let's see one more scripture. 1 Corinthians uh, chapter 11, verse 7, I think. I'm going to have to learn to write. Uh, I don't think that's what you want. Well, maybe it is. For a man indeed ought not to cover his head. Right. For as much as he is the image and glory of God, but woman is the glory of the man. Man is the image. Praise God. Uh -huh. Jesus was a man. Yes. He was the image of God. Praise the Lord. Anybody else? I, that's what I have. And that's so good. I'm concluding with that. That's good. Uh, I just... Lord, I love you. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. You know, the older I get, the more I want to make my salvation sure. Just like yeah. Peter said, make your calling and election sure. If you do that, you'll never stumble. Yeah. Praise God. And the older I get, the more I, I, I want to be. I want to be saved. I want to be pleasing to God. I want to do his will and uh, do what he wants. I want to hear, hear those words, well done, so yeah. praise God. Anybody else have anything you want to add? Praise God.
That was good, Josh. Thank you, Jesus. Let's stand and, Hallelujah. and Hallelujah. worship the Lord. Praise con God. Concluding. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank Lord Lord God. Jesus, I do want to worship Thank you. And I do want to be in Thank your you. will. I do want to make my Lord calling and election sure, God. You are to uh, oh, Thank some you people are going to be lost Thank and Jesus. they'll Thank suffer you, Lord. eternity. Oh, God, I, I want to. I want to be with you in eternity. I want to walk with you, hold hands with you, Lord Jesus, and see the blessedness of, of my salvation. Hallelujah. Uh, know that you shed that blood for the atonement of my soul, and then you filled my spirit with your spirit. Hallelujah. Oh, I pray, God, that we'll be able to witness to people. Make them understand it. Make them desire the things of God. Yes. In Hallelujah. Jesus' name. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. God bless you. Precious.